Good afternoon, friends. Steve Benoon here with Israeli News Live. Just a couple of things I want to cover real quick, uh, uh, really headlining the news. Uh, Trump's mugshot, as you see on your screen here, RT showing the quote-unquote uh, alleged mugshot of uh, former President Trump there, where he was arrested in Georgia. Uh, he surrendered to authorities there. I think also Rudy Giuliani also uh, has uh, surrendered. Uh, of course, I believe they're all pleading not guilty, and Trump's saying this is nothing but politically motivated, as we know he is running for president for 2024, and there is a lot of political motivation, but let's just face it, I don't think there's anybody good, no matter which side of the aisle that comes from there. Uh, also, another thing there, too, Prigozhin, as you guys know, Prigozhin, uh, he was uh, killed in a plane crash plane fly, fly, flying from Moscow to St. Petersburg. Uh, this video here has surfaced on Twitter of the plane crash there. Uh, you can see the plane uh, where it hit the ground oh, over yeah. here. Uh, okay. And what's interesting though, is I'm gonna show you something here. It is evident that the plane was actually shot down. Uh, you can see the cloud of smoke there. Uh, the plane is actually falling to the earth here. Uh, where this guy actually captures it on video. And uh, as we go a little further into this, let me just take, there you go. Now you can see the entire fuselage of the plane as it is tumbling to the earth there. Uh, it is said that it was shot down by uh, air defense system there inside of Russia. Uh, and so there you have it there, the Prigozhin's plane, uh, private jet there crashes to the ground and then, of course, this guy also catches it as he gets to where you can see it in the valley there where it hit the ground there inside of Russia. So uh, Prigozhin, the very man that uh, went against Putin, has died in the plane crash there. Uh, you know, they, Putin has always said the worst thing that could ever be done is betrayal. That's what he considers to be the ultimate crime is betrayal. And, uh, and well, it looks like uh, Mr. Prigozhin... Uh, met his fate. So uh, interesting as far as that goes there. Chinese CNN uh, reporting that Norway is going to provide F-16 fighter jets to Ukraine uh, as a third country. That is also going to no doubt ratchet up problems between Russia and Norway. And uh, it's only going to get worse as time moves on, especially now that they're going to be putting fighter jets in the country for Ukraine. I'm Steve Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Be sure to check out our Patreon channel. Uh, we're actually getting ready to post a uh, very interesting teaching, which I'll end up sharing that over either on Danoon Institute uh, or uh, iConnectFX.com, uh, Israeli News Live. One or the other will have that there as well. Uh, so definitely come join us over there. I'm Steve Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live.